Hey guys, it's Kristen. You're watching our Pagan Opinions. It's Sunday. I'm your Sunday host. There was no specific reason I didn't post last week. I just forgot that it was Sunday and totally spaced on posting my video. So forgive me for that. Forgive me for this face, which is about to happen a lot in this video. What was I thinking? What was I saying? It's going to happen a lot. Um, I'm really dizzy and I'm really shaky, but I wanted to make sure I got this video up. So I'm going to eat afterwards and hopefully that'll help. And I think maybe just like my blood sugar. I don't know what's happening. Um, we're going to figure it out together though. So we're talking about dreams today. Um, so excited. I love, I like to talk about dreams and I like to talk about any kind of form of, of like a divination tool, which dreams can be used as a divination tool, but I'll talk about that later. Um, just because I really like divination. The problem with it is I don't remember my dreams. And the reason is when I was a kid, um, like really young, like middle school and younger, um, I had nightmares. Like when I slept, 75% of the dreams I had were nightmares. So I turned into this really light sleeper. Like every noise woke me up because it scared me so bad. So I mean, even then I only remembered a few, like I remember select few nightmares. One of them involved like Free Willy versus Jaws. And the other one involved my cousin Ashley and I. Um, and we are like hiding under a bed from a monster that's come down from the hills at my dad's house. Like literally those are the two dreams that I remember in my life and they're both nightmares. They're horrible. And so because I was constantly waking up when I got into high school and as a teenager and even now, um, it made, it turned me into a really light sleeper. Sorry, the TV's on. It's just music though. What are you listening to? We're listening to Pitbull apparently. Um, it turned me into a really light sleeper and as it is, I don't. Like, it turned me into a total insomniac. Like, I just couldn't fall asleep. I couldn't force myself asleep just to wake up an hour later. So, dream work has never really been possible for me um, because of the fact that I don't sleep, because of the fact that I wake up every hour, and because of the fact that um, the dreams I have are usually nightmares. <laughs> so, do I think that there are messages from the divine and that Jaws and Free Willy are going to go at it? No. Um, because for me specifically, that is not how the divine and I work. I don't remember my dreams because I'm not meant to. They're dreams. They're, they're ways for me to rest a little bit and to work out situations that I couldn't do in a waking state. Now, the cool thing about people in their dreams is that everybody's dreams and everybody's relationship with the divine is different. So everybody's relationship with their brain is different as well. My dad sit, can, can sit here. You're on a couch. Can sit here with a problem. Sorry, I've got a pen on my arm. With a problem. Take a nap. Wake up and have a solution in his head. Dude's magic. I don't know how he does that. I have to write everything down and like sort out a way to fix a problem. That's how I fix out problems is writing things down. And... Ooh, hi. Ooh. That was fun. <laughs> Swirly room. Um, it's, it's just who you are. It's just how your brain works and processes things. For me, I don't think that it's necessarily um, from the divine. I don't. I just think that it's my brain going a little crazy. I've always been a little imaginative, a little creative. And so that's just how my brain sorts through these random thoughts that are in the back of my head and then they're gone. Um, let's see. What experience do I have with dream work? The only experience I have with dream work, um, I tried two different things. One is I tried when I was, when I first, first started, not this past year, but like excuse me, we have the hiccups, in like middle school or high school, you guys are shaking again, um, I wanted to remember my dreams, so I did like a little dream bag and a little dream bag spell and um, tried to do that, and it never worked, like I've never been able to remember them. I've finally realized that that's just how life is meant to be for me, and that's totally fine, dream work is never going to be a part of my life, but the second time was trying to do like a guided dream, trying to work with my uh 
work so that I can control my dreams. And I did that for almost a month and it never worked because I fell straight asleep and I woke up every hour. And it's really hard to be like, wake up, you know, like turn right, turn right, force yourself through a dream and to, to take control of a dream when you don't even remember it in the first place. And you can't get your brain to function that way. Like that's just not how I work. So I don't do dream work because it's an area that I haven't been able to grasp yet. And honestly, it's not one that I necessarily feel like I need to grasp. I can work on through a lot of different other areas to get what I need. So, you know, little by little. Um, that's it. That's it. I'm going to upload this now. You guys have a great week. And next week, you will not see me. You will be seeing the lovely Renee. I've got to tell her that. Oh, hey, Renee. You're doing next week, by the way. Okay, bye. Oh, oh. Didn't push stop. Bye. I fail at life. For the third time. Have a great week, you guys. I'll talk to you next week. Two weeks from now. Bye.